All right, we're recording. So I'm making this power hour. I'm making it, I'm recording it because this is something that you guys can do every single day. So in this business, we work the same tasks every single day. So at any moment, your enroller doesn't send you something, you know, you feel like you're waiting on a task. You're waiting to like, you're like, I want to do something with my business. I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. Just remember like, yesterday's tasks and do it that day because it's the same thing over and over. So I wanted to record this because this is something that you can just tune into at any time of your day. You can just save it in your notes, the link after I'll post it um, after, you know, we're done. But this is something that you can, you know, just if you're, if like the evening times don't work good for you, you can do it during the day while the kids are napping or on lunch break or whatever. And you can just listen to what I'm teaching you and just do it every single day. So first thing, I don't know if you guys have a piece of paper or pencil. Um, if not, feel free to use your phone. Um, I'm also charging my phone and my computer. So I wasn't prepared for this, but that's okay. So um, first thing I want you to do is I want you to write down your reason why you joined. It doesn't have to be a super long drawn out thing, but honestly, I want it to come from your heart. I really want you to really think about why you started. Now, I know you're probably like, this isn't like, how is this even relevant to my business? Well, it is because guess what? There's going to be hard days in this business. You're going to get discouraged sometimes. You're going to get people telling you no and all the things, and you're going to be like feeling down in the dumps sometimes. I'm just throwing that out there, but that's just life. It's nothing new. Um, it's just how life is sometimes. But you've got to remember why you joined so you never give up. I always tell people quit on your best day because no one will ever quit on their best day. So it's so important to remember why you joined. And you know, if you don't have a piece of paper and a pen or whatever right now, type it in your notes on your phone, save it as your background. If you have to on your phone to just remember, to keep you motivated. Okay. Because sometimes there are hard days that I'm just like, Oh my gosh, you know, it's like, man, but then I remember why I started. I'm like, well, if I give up on, you know, this business, I'm giving up on my kids because they're the reason why I joined, right? That means I'd have to go back to work. No. Nope. <laughs> Skirt. Once you get on boss, you don't want to work for nobody else. <laughs> That's for sure. So I never want to do that. So I always remind myself why I joined. So take about five or so minutes um, doing that. We're going to play some music. Power hours are very common in this business. You're going to hear the word power 30s or power hours. What that means is it's just a working Zoom. So we all get on that here like this. Usually it's not as much talking, but since this is a new distributor, kind of like a training working Zoom, I'm going to be talking a lot more than normal um, just so that I can really explain to you guys how we do our tasks and stuff. Um, and also most of the time power hours, we listen to music. Um, and just work together. So it's just kind of like an accountability thing. It's more fun working with people that, you know, friends and stuff like that. So um, while y'all are finishing up on your whys, I'm going to find some tunes so it's not like crickets or screaming children in the background because it's bound to happen here at the McCravey household. Um, so I listen to Jesus music. So that's what we're going to play. And yeah, I'm gonna set a timer. So three more minutes or so on the writing down your why. Bonus points. I know a lot of you've already, if I've enrolled you, I know a lot of you've already sent me the reason why you joined, but bonus points, highly recommend you send that to your enroller as well so that they can also see because once you join this business, your why becomes our why. We want for you to succeed so much in this business because guess what you're all here for a purpose god placed you in our past for a reason in this business so it's just awesome to it's even it's better to know like for all of us to know what your why is too um and you can even drop it in the chat if you want to too if you want to get a little crazy with it you can do that so about two more minutes on that we find some music here I do Pandora. I don't pay for it, so there is stupid advertisements, but that's okay. Hey guys, it's Zach Williams here, and I just released my new record, Rescue Story. I can't wait to get out and play some of these new songs along with some of my old favorites this spring on the Rescue Story Tour. Joining me on the road are my new friends, We the Kingdom and Kane. I can't wait to see you guys this spring. Let's go. 
lost is a fire. Holy flame burning wild. Burning through the night. All right. So I should have done this before I started. I forgot. Shame on me. But um, we're going to pray really fast. And so whenever you have your why, just hold it in your hand. If it's on your phone or a piece of paper while we pray because we're going to pray over your businesses, okay? So just bow y'all's heads real quick. So dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us all here tonight. Lord, thank you for these women and men that are on here. Um, you know, I know that you have a purpose for all of us in our life. And I just pray over all of their businesses that you just help them succeed and just grow and just change their lives in this because we are all here for a reason. And so I just pray that you just bless their efforts, Lord. I pray that you just help them grow strength and courage and knowledge and wisdom and just be with us through these days, Lord. And just thank you so much for everything that you have given us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Okay, so um now let's spend so about we're gonna spend another let's say five minutes and what I want you to write down is five affirmations so uh, when I started this business I did not know what an affirmation was <laughs> uh I knew like nothing about like personal development stuff but um so what an affirmation is pretty much speaking things in existence that like it's already happened but hasn't really happened but it, you want it to happen but you're going to speak it like it's already happened does that make sense so it's like um, you know, you just joined this business. I am make, I cannot believe I'm making $500 extra a month this month, like in this business, you know, I, um, you know, I am so successful in this business. You know, you're speaking like I am it's like, I am Ruby and making average $500. I am diamond or whatever your goal is. I know some of you don't even know what the ranks are yet. And that's totally fine. Um, but just kind of like, whatever you want, whatever your goal is for you, whether, whatever your dream is, I want you to write it like it's already happened and say, I am this, I am that, whatever. Um, I like to write these or, and then say them in the mornings and at nighttime. It's very powerful when you, and while I'm talking, go ahead and write them down. But, um, it's very powerful to write affirmations down because it trains your mind that to go in that direction okay because our mind is so i don't know why i like doing that our minds are so powerful and it could be a good thing or a bad thing our minds are crazy right and so you know these are just going to train your mind to just be more on that positive side and to really just get you fired up you know every single day it just gets me fired up when i write down my affirmations and say them out loud and it sounds really silly to you probably right now you're probably like this girl is nuts but i'm telling you the people that do this are the people who go far because they really like they just they're training their mind to be successful so and all the top leaders do this in this business just to let you know so there is reason behind it so finish up with that real quick and then we're gonna and start this is important this is we're gonna start we're gonna you want to start your day off every single day doing these things okay if it takes you writing down your why every day or just reading it every single day you know tape it to the steering wheel of your car if you work every day or you know above the toilet paper roll or whatever wherever you go multiple times put it places so you can see it often okay because you trust me on it. You, you're going to want to. Yeah. And Jessica said, do it for 30 days straight. You'll see, you'll even see a difference in 30 days. Like it's just the craziest thing. So crazy. <clears throat> so finish up on that. And while y'all are doing that, um, anyone is anyone not on the first 25 page post page? Um, this is a page that have post ideas. If you need to be added, can you drop in the chat below? Okay, I need to, I'm approving people now. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I just proved four people. But if you need, Phyllis, I believe you're on.
And if you're not text your enroll or message your enroller, Kristen, because some of you guys I haven't enrolled you, actually, I'll send the link in the chat and then you can add yourself to it and I'll just approve you. So finish up y'all's affirmations while I do this. I'm gonna turn some tunes on. It's gonna be hard to listen to this when I'm talking all like that. It's okay. This is stupid. Sorry, I had to text it to myself so that I can call me a piece of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jessica, are you able to copy and paste this to the chat? This is annoying. I can't do it. Let's see here. Let me see if it works. Let's see. Okay, I think it works. Okay, the, the link is in the chat. If you go on the bottom of your phone or computer, you'll see a chat button. Click that and then copy, or click on that, and then um, let me know when you add yourself in the chat so then I can preview, because I have to preview in there. Okay, so anyways, while y'all are doing that, we're going to make a post on our Facebook page and you can use Instagram too. If you're more, if you're more an Instagram person, um, it's mostly pictures on Instagram, right? So you can still use the same post as you do on Facebook. Just, you'd have to post a picture with it. So for instance, if I make a post that says who on here loves coffee, and wants to lose weight or something like that. You can post, find a picture on Pinterest, a really pretty coffee picture and post it like on your wall and then with the caption of that, like you would on Facebook, like you wouldn't have to post a picture on Facebook of like coffee but since Instagram is mostly pictures. I know some of you work Instagram more so than Facebook and that's totally fine. So um, there is, you want to make sure you're posting, if you're posting pictures, you want to make sure you're not posting things that are spammy looking or billboardy looking. Where we are, um, like, we run our business on social media and it's, we want to definitely like turn to like attraction marketing. So like a picture, let me pull up one just to give you an example. I, let's see. coffee. So this is like a really pretty picture of coffee. Is it our coffee? No, but you can still use a different picture. You can still use a really pretty coffee picture regarding our coffee. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's, oh, this one's cute too. Look at this one. Girl boss, like that's something that would be so cute to post on Instagram. I just typed in coffee on Pinterest. Those are things you would like to put. Not black, not like dark pictures, no worded pictures, okay? Because that's tacky. So, um, like, don't put, don't post that on Instagram. That's not cute, okay? Something like that on your story is fine, but not on your page. Okay. And yes, 
there's a Pinterest link also in the chat, um, which we'll get to in a minute. That's my second task. So let's um, let's post this post. I'm gonna put something in the chat real fast. Something as simple as that. Who loves coffee and wants to lose, lose weight? You can even add this. Drop a GIF below. Track, it's like a, yeah, you can do that. Copy, paste that. Listen, this business doesn't have to be complicated. So just a simple question like that is gold sometimes. Like people love to just comment on stuff like that. So just say, who loves coffee and wants to lose weight? drop a gift below and if you're posting on instagram remember go to pinterest find a really cute picture like i showed you of a coffee cup put it on your wall and don't put drop a good night baby drop don't put drop a gift below because you can't use those on instagram drop an emoji below something like that when i when y'all are done i want you to comment done in the comment section of the chat if you're watching the recording you can't do that but that's okay just let me know when you're done i'm gonna give you about five minutes to do that cool thanks Karina. yeah of course do it in spanish girl whatever you want to do that's really cool love that shell good job I just want to hit this high note so bad, but I don't want to scare y'all off this soon, so I'm off. Carry on, want to get into me. That's awesome. Can you speak? Maybe? Shut up, get out of here. <laughs> Jacob's rubbing his belly. He said, You can put this on your story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these are my new distributors. They don't know you yet. They oh. will look at them. They're not all my distributors. Can they see me? You say you see uh, your big old head. Look, she's waving. She's waving. <laughs> she's sweet. Give me a kiss. Love you. Bye, y'all. He's retarded. Y'all gonna have learned that real quick. <laughs> Love you too. Good job, guys. I know that's kind of will have to meet up sometime. I want to go to Nashville. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got that posted. Cool. So, of course, whenever people like it, comment on it, like it's probably going to accumulate that. So, just we'll do something else while that happens. So, next thing I want y'all to do. So, Jessica put the Pinterest link in the chat. And if you're watching the recording, I will post the Pinterest link in the post that I posted of the Zoom. Um, so you can click on it and, or you can ask your enroller for the link. It, it's available to all of us. So go ahead and go find, go on that Pinterest link and find, um, since we're posting about coffee on our walls, let's just find a coffee 
slide we can use on our story. So let me show you an example while y'all are looking for that. And just a little tip. A lot, you're gonna learn a lot, like you're gonna be saving a lot of stuff on your phone, on your camera roll. Um, a great tip is to create a fo whoops, hello. Create a folder on your, on your camera roll for like all the products you want to like post about. So I have a camera roll of like coffee story, story post. So if I'm like one day, I just like, hey, I want to find, I just want to post about keto coffee. I just go to my folder that says keto coffee in my camera roll because I've organized them by product in my camera roll. So I'm not hunting for something for like hours. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. In the Pinterest spray page, I'm sure, I think, Brian, you did that right. It's very organized and beautiful. Like, it's very appealing to the eye. So she did a freaking good job on that. So take advantage of that. It's organized in product in each folder. It's great. And also, anybody, if you ever, like, come across Brianne's page or my page or Jessica's page on our stories, feel if you see a slide that has multiple slides, like, feel free to use those, too. All you have to do is if, like, you're on – well, let me not do one of myself. So say you're on, like, my st story. You can hold it down with your thumb or finger and then screenshot it to where the name goes away on the top and post it on your story, too. So, like, let me show you. On, that was just my camera roll. So, so um, not that you're going to post this, but this was me doing a boomerang earlier, of my keto coffee. But, like, you see how my name's up top and then disappears? You hold it down. When you hold it down, that's when you want to screenshot it. You don't want to screenshot it with my name because it's going to post my name on your story. You don't want to do that. Just a little tip. Let's go ahead and post a copy slide in your Instagram and another little tip while y'all are finding out which one y'all do comment down in the comment section when you're finished as well um you can link your Instagram stories to your Facebook so if you're on if you're on your story right now and you go to this little button right here more whoops more down here it says story settings you scroll down and it says share to Facebook story so then you don't have to post one story you don't have to post on your story on Instagram and you don't have to do it on Facebook it already sets it up for you on both which is sweet so I'll go ahead and do that. Let me know when you're done. And if you have, you guys, if y'all have any questions, you know, um, comment in the chat or ask your enroller or unmute yourself and ask. Um, I don't mind you unmuting yourself and talking on here. Um, it's an open Zoom, so anybody can ask anything. We're going to spin about. Uh, three more minutes on that and you can do multiple slides too not just like one specific so like for instance this one goes together so this one's like love coffee and it has like like other like people's testimonies so if you've never tried a product before that's okay I didn't try any products when I first started this business. I never even heard of it works when I started. I just knew I wanted to make some money, so I just jumped out right in. So I just borrowed other people's testimonies, borrowed other people's confidence, and talked about how excited I was to use the products, okay? At, it, at this moment, if at any time someone comments or responds to you um, asking you about the product, ask your enroller or even on here, if we're still on here by that time, um, we will send you a message to walk you through the conversations, okay? That is the that is the biggest tip I can give you, is you guys always ask your enroller or whoever, you know, 
how to go through a conversation with people, send them screenshots because stealing the deal is the most important part. And we want, we want to make sure we're explaining things the right way. Um, and so we're here to help you guys. So this is, like I said, this is like a slide that kind of runs in together. You can put all those on your story. Those are just ones for my camera roll. So I have one person told me they're done on the task. And if, like I said, if you have questions or if you're confused about it, feel free to ask. And honestly, even if you don't, if you, if you want to um, even do like a boomerang of you and holding the coffee packet up and doing something fun or whatever, or I, I'm saying coffee because cl clearly that's my favorite product and I talk about it all the time. You can talk about any product that you want that we have. Um, I recommend you talk about a product that you want to try if you haven't tried it yet. And talk about how excited you are to use it. And that's why being a product of the product is so important. You want to show people that you are using the products. And I know not everyone has their kit yet. I know that not everyone um, has tried them yet. And that's okay. Use other people's testimonies until you get your own. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's, thank you, Michelle, for... Okay, so you also have more before and after pictures on your Connect app as well. There's so many amazing resources we have on that Connect app. So take that, um, take advantage of that too. All right, let's move on to the next task. So we already posted on our wall. We already posted, we're posted on our story. So now what I want you guys to do is we're gonna do, we're gonna do some Facebook messaging, okay? So this is how I find people to message. A lot of people ask me, how do you find people to message? How do you know who to message? Message anyone who's, on, who's friends with you on Facebook. The only people you do not wanna message is the people you just added as a friend because that's spammy. We're all about building relationships in this business. You all should have a warm market, which a warm market is the people that are already friends with you on Facebook. I don't care if you are friends with Sally for, you know, on Facebook for a few years, but you never talked to her, but maybe one time in your life, she's still your warm market because she's been on your Facebook for a while. Okay. Anyone that you're friends with on Facebook right now, that's your warm market. Um, and interact with them before messaging if, them if that makes you feel more comfortable. I like to do that a lot of times um, too. So I am going to, to show you guys. Okay, so go to your Facebook. Go to your friends. See y'all friends. And everyone should be in alphabetical order from A down. Mine's not, mine's loading. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to go from the top and I want you to go down the list, click on everyone. So this is one of my distributors. I don't know if she's on, but AJ, this is, you're on my first one. <laughs> so you go, you click on their profile, you interact, say you interact with the post. I hearted her post. I'm going to comment me. I'm going to comment the coffee because she posted about the coffee or whatever. I'm just interacting. So I'm commenting, I'm loving people's posts, and then I'm going to go to message her because you want to interact with them and build a relationship too. So then I'm going to message her. Okay. And then I'm going to send her a host to post message. So I'm going to send the message in the chat. If you're watching the recording, I'll send the message on the comment section of the post. And this, this message may change depending on what giveaway we're doing. So you can still use this message always. Just if you're watching this like a few months after this is posted, this recording, the giveaway we'll, we're doing may be different. So right now we're doing a $50 giveaway to anyone who makes a post for us on their wall. So this is just an incentive to make them want to post. Um, if you've already sent host post messages for today, send some more. The more the merrier. So, 
there is a message. You guys can save all of this to your notes on your phone too, okay? Um, Cause you're gonna be using the same thing every day. So sometimes I'm doing like my checklist multiple times. If I have more time, like then I have, like say I sent some messages earlier and I have some more time to send some more messages. I'm gonna send some more messages. So I'm, um, there's not like a limit. There's not a limit to how many messages you send. The more the merrier. So think of it like this, like it's a numbers game. The more people you message, the more people who that will res respond to you. Also, the more people you message, the more people will say no or, or, or ignore you. So just to let you guys know, you will get people to tell you no, and you will get people to ignore you sometimes. That's okay. It happens to me too, but you just, you're not doing it for the no's. You're doing it for the yeses and you keep pushing through. Okay. Not everybody wants dessert after dinner. I always use that as like an example because you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody does like going out to eat. You know how the waitress says, do you want dessert? You know, usually you're stuffed by then. You're like, no thanks. But some people are like, Hey, I always make room for dessert. You just, okay. So it's not everybody will say yes to you. That is fine. We're not trying to please every single one. Okay. So send this. That's your favorite. <laughs> I just came over it one day and I was like, Oh, that's true. That's really good. Um, so go ahead. I'm going to set a timer for us. We're going to spend about 10 minutes because I know it takes time to interact. and I know it takes time to message. Um, and I want you to go down the list, Facebook list, your friends. Okay. Just before you exit off of your friends list, after you're done sending, let's send about 20 messages. That's a good number. Let's send about 20 messages real quick. And um, interact with them before you message them if you want. A lot of times I even lo I like and comment on their profile picture. Even if it's like a year old, I still interact to show them that I'm, you know, I like their page. Whenever you're done with your 20 messages, what I want you to do is I want you to so say you you left off of this person. Say it left off somewhere. Let me try to screenshot. Okay, here we go. So on iPhones, I don't know about Androids. Don't ask me no Android questions because that goes over my head. So you can screenshot. Whoops, it went away. Okay, screenshot. Nope, that wasn't it either. I locked my phone. Um, okay. Let's try this again. Screenshot. Woohoo. Okay. What I do is I click on there. Say I left off on Abigail. I will use my little pencil. Use whatever thickness you want. Doesn't have to be nothing crazy. And I circle her name. Did I circle her name? Okay. I'm trying to do this backwards. So why I do that is it saves to my camera roll. So then I remember who I picked up at. Like, so net, so say I have some time to message a little later tonight or tomorrow, I'll go through my camera roll and I'm like, who did I leave off at? I'll go back to my camera roll and I will say, hmm, let's see where I left off. Oh, I left off her to her. So then I go back to my Facebook tomorrow and I find her and I just pick up back where I left off and I just keep going down and I'll do it again. Screenshot circle. Next day, go down the list, message, 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 screenshot, circle. You get the picture. So that is just only for me. Everyone has their diff different ways of doing it, but that just shows me where I left off. So then I don't forget who I left off at. Another, um, so yeah, we'll just do that because I don't want to overwhelm you. So comment done in the chat whenever you are um, done.
Yes, host to post. I'm sorry, I just looked up. Yes, this is what we call host to post. It's kind of like a, it's just like a referral, but on social media. a man on a park bench eating his 500th pb and j he has no idea papa john's has new papadillas that are way better than a boring sandwich with papa john's best meats cheeses and veggies hand folded into a crispy flatbread crust someone better tell that man that a new papadilla more flavor for this better ingredients better pizza better than a sandwich all right, how y'all going? How y'all doing on your messages? Ditch the dull with St. Ives apricots. And um, I want to give this a tip too. So if you have an iPhone, I'm only going to refer to iPhones because that, that's the only thing I know how to use. If you have an Android, there is a, probably, I think there is a way. There's also an app too. But, okay, so right now copying and pasting is cool, but you don't want to copy and paste messages to people because Facebook will catch on to that and so will Instagram and you could get blocked and we don't want that to happen. Okay. So here's how we prevent that to happen. That's how we prevent it. So if you are an iPhone user, if you're Android, Google it. There is a way I promise. Um, you go to settings on your iPhone, you go to general, you go to keyboard, and then you go to texture placement. Texture placement, you know how you text someone and then it's like trying to, it's pop up, it pops up the words at the bottom, just trying to like guess what you're about to say. It's kind of like that, except for you can make your own texture placement. So what's really cool is, so if you click the little plus sign at the top, and these are all texture placements, just, Got lots. You can type a phrase in there. So say someone's like, or let's say you're about to send some host post messages. Okay. You type the whole message, the one that I sent into the chat, you type the message in the phrase spot. So you have the whole long message in the phrase spot. Then on the shortcut, so let me go ahead and do it. The short, and then on the shortcut, You type in, so say the whole message is there. You type the shortcut, let's title it HAP for host to post. That's just standards for host post, and I put a one after it. So this is what the shortcut will look like. You're probably thinking, what the heck? You want to put a number after it. Here's why because if you type HAP, every time you type out HAP, that message is going to pop up. Okay, so watch what happens. So say I set it that all up. So I'm going to message, I'll message. I'll just text it to my sister so that I don't actually text someone else. So say I'm on my messages, you can type in HAP. Mine's a little different. Mine's cash hat, but whatever. Okay, you click it, whoops. So you typed in your, this is my shortcut for mine, but HAP for y'all, that's just easy. You click it, your whole message pops up. Boom. Cool. Fancy. I know, it's amazing. It's called texture placement. I even have a video for that too. So when you're messaging, 
you can literally just type in your shortcut cash JP. Type in one, and then you're like, boom. you do that two seconds instead of copy paste. Instead of having to go to your notes, having to copy paste, copy paste, copy copy paste. And so why this is important to set this up is because, and I set it up for everything. I set it up for host post messages. I set it up for like, if I give you, if you're one of my distributors personally enrolled and I give you, say someone's like, oh, what's the keto coffee? And I type in coffee one in my shortcut, pops up the whole message. Keto coffee is a blah, 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 blah. And you're gonna use it because guess what guys, in this business, it's so repetitive. People are gonna be like, how much is it? Okay, they're gonna be like, What's this? What's this coffee? How much is it? You know, it's gonna. They're everyone's gonna ask similar questions. So to make your lives a lot easier, and we want to work smarter, not harder. And I feel like this is this was game changer for my business because you get to work quicker and get more done. So if you're just typing H A P one, H A P one, H A P one down the list, you can get twenty messages out in no time because you got texture placement set up and. Facebook and Instagram won't catch on because you're technically typing. The the bad thing about copy paste is that they can they can they they don't like copy paste because they will mark it as spam and that's why they block you just to protect their um, audience. Okay, so but if you're text using text replacement, you're technically still typing, so it can't read it that it's like a long message. If that makes sense. I don't want to confuse you. So. Anytime I come up with a message, I'm like, oop, I gotta stop what I'm doing, set it as my text replacement. And then I'm just like, instead of copy paste, I'm like, HAP1, 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 down the list, down my friends list, okay? Just a little tip. And if you need help with that, just ask. Okay, so y'all got your 20 messages sent out, cool. Should, anyways, comment down in the chat. Um, and now, real quick, we're going to add to our network. So, this is really important because if you run out of people to talk to, you're gonna be in like a hamster wheel. You're gonna just like go around in circles and you're gonna be like, I'm not getting anywhere. Um, this was big for me. This was kind of like my, this was way out of my comfort zone. I didn't like adding people to my network um, when I first started. Cause I was like, I don't wanna add no strangers to my network. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But here's why you want to. If you really wanna su succeed in this business, you gotta find more people. Because guess what? You're gonna run out of people to talk to and then there you are at a standstill in your business. And there are, a lot, there are a lot of nice people out there in the world. And I've met so many good friends through this business, through social media that I didn't even know. Uh, most of you guys that signed up with me that's on the Zoom, I did not know you. <laughs> Except for maybe TikTok, Instagram, whatever, wherever I found, like we met. So it's really cool because it just brings amazing people in your life. And you never know who needs this business. And you never know who needs these products. So always add to your network. Now, do we add them and immediately message them? No, we add them and we immediately interact with them. So say, you know, I'm adding to my network and what's really cool on Facebook, I know, and on Instagram, you get a notification when someone adds you back. The minute that they add me back, I go to their page and I just interact with them. Oh my gosh, girl, you have such a cute family. Or they posted something funny. Oh my gosh, I'm so dead. This is hilarious. Or I, I interact with their their profile picture. I like and comment. I don't care if it's like eight months old. They posted it eight months ago. I'm still going to interact with it because it's showing, it's showing them that you care and that you're interacting with them and you're building that friendship. So then when you are done with messaging your warm market, you're they're part of your warm market now because you've interacted with them. You see what I'm saying? So how I find people to add, because this is the biggest question, how I find people to add. And if this is a lot of information for you, just know, like I said, this is recorded and you can listen to this every day if you want to and work with this recording if you want to. So don't get overwhelmed. Take it with a grain of salt. Okay. But, um, so I say, okay, for instance, I'm just scrolling and you never want to get sucked in the scroll. But when I do scroll, I go to like, oh, this is a cute little picture, right? She has 101 likes on her po page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on her post and I'm gonna click on those likes. I don't know who she is. She seems cute though. And then I'm going to go down her likes and I'm gonna add anyone that I feel like I should be friends with on there. 
So who I typically add, I'm like, oh, okay, she has a really cute profile picture. Let's just, I'm gonna briefly scroll. I'm gonna look up in here. This is where I really look and I'm like, okay, she's local, that's cool. She doesn't look like she's with another network marketing company. She doesn't look like she's um, within, with it works. She's really positive. She, she loves, she's a Christian, that's awesome. She loves to work with orphans. This girl I wanna be friends with because she has lots of things in common with me. I'm gonna add her as a friend. And then I'll just go down the list. Oh, this girl's pretty too. I kind of base it off their profile picture. If someone has a picture of their cat as their profile picture, nothing against cats. If you have a picture of your cat as your profile picture, I'm nothing, like nothing against you. I just want to see your face if I'm going to add you. So, and yeah, Brian said change it. People don't want to add you back unless they can see your face. So you kind of, <laughs> if it's you and your cat, fine. If it's just your cat, cut. <laughs> Get rid of it, okay? Because, you know, nothing against cats. I'm not really a cat person, but people want to see your face. I'm not, so you see how I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to add this person because she has a picture of um, a cat. But I will add her because she has a pretty picture of her and, is that a goat? Nope, that's a llama. She has a picture of a llama with her, with her and a llama, but that's cute. Uh, that's her thing. So let's just, I'm going to look, okay? She's... You know, I'm gonna look up here. She went to, oh, she's local. Cool. She, some people's pages are private, so that's fine. Um, hey, she's already set, look, she's already selling a clutch on there. She might be good at the business. Okay, I'm gonna add her as a friend. She has really pretty pictures. They're very bright and happy. She likes her dogs. So I'm gonna add her as a friend. So you see what I'm saying? I'm adding people that I think I could be friends with. I'm not adding that says F you this, F you that, like negative Nancy's. Like I'm not adding people that are um, negative. You know, I'm not adding people that, you know, have cat pictures or whatever. I'm adding people that are positive. I'm adding people that I think I could be friends with because you want only positive people in your circle. Because what happens is when you have people that are Nancy or negative Nancy, I like Nancy's negative Nancy's. I, maybe I shouldn't use that anymore because I'm thinking Nancy might get offended with the negative Nancy. Um, <laughs> maybe negative Nelly. Maybe nobody's name's Nelly on here. Um, you know, if you're around negative people, you're going to end up being negative and you don't want to attract anything negative on, sorry to Karen. I know Jacob uses that. Um, <laughs> I can't. Um, People don't want, like, you don't want negative energy around your bubble, okay? We we want only positive patties. So if your name's Patty, cool. You know, you only want to be, you want positive people only, okay? Don't add nobody. Like, I am picky about who, like, for instance, if I'm adding, so if I'm looking to see who I'm adding and someone has, like, the two middle fingers posted up in their bio, I'm not adding you, boo, okay? You you already like have negative vibes all over your Instagram. If you have that on your Instagram or Facebook right now, take it off. Okay. You don't want those people attracted to you. You want sunshine and butterflies and rainbows. I don't know. You just want happy things. Okay. You want people, you want, you want pe people that are positive attracted to you and vice versa. Okay. Let me look in the comments. So question, if we already have a buyer, but I haven't been able to try the coffee yet, could you tell me your favorite type? Yeah, so if you have some, and listen, if you have not tried a product yet, that is so fine. Like, that's totally fine. What I, what you could do is say, my, Cor my Courtney, <laughs> my friend Courtney is obsessed with this coffee. She's lost her baby weight with it. She loves the regular butter latte flavor, but we also have salted caramel pods, and we even just came out with skinny brew and chai tea if you like something that's decaf. Which one would you like? Or which one sounds the best to you? You don't have to pretend. I don't want you guys to lie and pretend that you've tried it and say, I love it. And I'm like, I don't even know what it tastes like. You can say, my friend Courtney, my friend Brianne loves this flavor. And I can't wait to try it myself. Mine's coming in the mail soon or whatever if you've ordered it. Okay. This is another reason why we do want to be a product of the product. So when I started, like I said at the beginning of this, I never tried a product before ever. 
okay? But I borrowed other people's testimonies and I borrowed other people's confidence in the product. And I was just sharing how excited I was to be able to use the products. And that's the beauty of this business, you guys. We don't have to carry inventory. You're not losing money in this business, okay? I know that someone's, someone messaged me asking that that was a concern. This business, we only purchase the products that we want to use on ourselves for our own goals, okay? And that's not mandatory, but it's highly recommended. And that's one way we're commission qualified. So you really want to try their products eventually. I know some of you even started your businesses today. Of course, you're not going to have the product on hand right now. And that's fine. We get paid to learn about our products. So you get to learn and try our products while getting paid. It's just so cool. You know, you don't have to know everything about everything to share the products with people. I signed a lot of customers before I have tried one product because I use other people's testimonies. So Kristen, I hope that made sense. Um, and if you need help with that conversation, I would be more than happy to type something up and text it to you. Because, um, But yeah, you just let me know. So let's spend, I know I've kind of talked a little long, a little, a little longer than I wanted. So let's find some people to add on Facebook. And I do the same thing for Instagram, okay? Let's just spend five minutes. Um, to do this because I know we've been almost here almost an hour and I have like one more task that I want us to do um, that won't take long before we get off here um, so continue to add people that you think you can be friends with go to your friends likes you know don't spend a crap ton of time looking at someone stalking their page because you can also get sucked into that you just want to briefly like I briefly just look here and I look down a little bit I'm like okay cool she seems fine add because worst case scenario, if you add someone that and you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have added her, just delete them. It's fine. It's really fine. So, five minutes. Okay. I'm going to ask, I'm going to answer Brianna's question in the chat. Y'all continue to find your people to add. So, if someone wants, if someone says they want to post for you, this is what I send them, Okay. Um, and I'm going to read it out loud so the people that are watching the recording can type it out as I talk. So let me type it. Okay, so I send them this first. Yay, here's the post. Don't tag me. Just let me know when the post is up then you will be entered. Also, please post it with a color background if it lets you. If not, that's okay. Whoops, I sent that privately to Michelle. I don't know how that happened. Sorry, but hey, you, there you go. Let me, let me oh my gosh, why does he keep doing that? Keep sending it privately. Okay, and then I send them this post post. Might need to send this one because, oh, it's my song. Oh man, you can't use a melody song. Okay, if you want to put like some emojis beside testers needed on each side, feel free to do that. It wouldn't let me put emojis on here. It's just what I have in my text replacement and it's linked to my, my computer. So, like I said, it'll say, so here's the first message. Yay, here's the post. Don't tag me. Just let me know when the post is up. Then you will be entered. Also, please post it with a color background if it lets you. If not, that's okay. Guess what? That's a text replacement too. <laughs> Everything I send you guys is text placement because I got, I want to use my time wisely and this helps me get things done quick. Then the post says, testers needed. You can put like some fire flames on each side or some, some um, firework emojis, whatever. If you could take two pills a day for the next 90 days and lose an average of 31 pounds, would you do it? That's it. Super simple. So when they post it, this is very important. And so I'm glad that you asked me this while we're on here so I can show everyone this. So I know y'all are adding to your network right now. 
but I want to show you something. So I'm going to go to my page just to show you guys an example. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm actually going to go to this. Page. Okay, so say pretend this is the post that the person posted for you on their wall. Okay. First off, you're going to want to screenshot it so that you can add them to the giveaway, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Okay. But you go to their post. Say you're on that person's post they posted for you. You're going to go and you're going to get out of here. You're going to click on these three little dots right here. And it's going to say save post. Save post. Then it's going to pop up and it's going to say create new collection. Now, if you already have a collection folder for this, don't make a new one. Just add it to your February one. But if you don't have a collection folder, create a new one. Okay. So I'm gonna title, you can title it February 2020 HAP, okay? Here's why. What it's gonna do for you, it's gonna keep all of the posts that people post for you in a folder so that you can go back and follow up with the people who commented on the post, okay? So we'll save that as a folder. Maybe create. Okay, so it's saved. All right, my phone's okay. Here we go. It's saved. So I'll say saved. And then what you can do if you want to go ever go back to the post, you can just go to these little lines right here at the bottom of your Facebook. You go to saved. And all the things you've saved are in these cute little folders. So here's a, my January one, for instance. So these are all the people who posted for me in January. Which, crap, oh, there it goes, start working. Okay, I have them saved, so guess what? I can go back and I'm like, oh, let me click on her post. And I highly recommend you put before and after pictures in the comment section, so whenever people do post for you, you can go and you can ask your enroller for these or you can go in the Connect app and look at um, before and after pictures. I believe it's under resources. I only look, I can look and show you, but I put, well, I can't talk, put before and after pictures in the comment section of, because I did the weight loss one and so that people are seeing results and that you also want to comment on the com in the comment section of the post because since they did not tag you, which you do not want them to tag you because of Facebook algorithm. Oh, see, I'm glad I clicked on her because guess what? I had two people that commented that I never saw. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and message these people. But they're seeing these results, and you will get notifications saying, you know, Tabitha posted on Brittany's post. That she, you know, you're going to get notified that people posted on that post for you or that you're gonna get notified that someone posted on the post that your friend posted for you, so that you know to go check on that and, and message her. So what you're gonna do next is, I like, so I'm gonna love their comments, and I'm gonna message them, or I'm gonna drop in the comment section, I'll message you, check your message request. Because sometimes if you're not friends with them, it gets in a folder. So guess what I'm going to do? After I've commented on the post, I'm going to go to Tiffany. And I'm going to add her as a friend. So what's cool is when people comment on this interested, you are already getting people interested in products. And you're adding to your network. So you're doing like a double, double win. So you're doing like two things at one time. How cool. So then I'm going to message her. So while it's pending, I'm still messaging her. Okay. So I'll message her. And usually the message that I send, very simple. Have it as a text replacement. <laughs> Lose weight one is my text replacement. I don't know. You kind of have to like start after you have so many text replacements, you have to kind of get creative with. So, oops. So then I have a text replacement. Shoot. 
And there's my message. It says, hey girl, thanks for your interest on my post. Are you currently working on losing weight? If so, how much? That's it. And then of course your conversation starts and that's where your enroller comes in. And that's when you send them screenshots and asking for their help so that you know how to walk them through the conversation because everyone's conversation is different. Everyone's goals is different. So it's kind of hard to explain all that on here, but I know that your enroller will say, Hey, send me screenshots and I can walk you through the conversations together. And what's really cool. A lot of these conversations go very like pretty much the same because a lot of people you know, have similar goals. Okay. That's it. So that's as simple as it gets guys. So I've added to my network and I, um, messaged her for a potential customer. So, um, so I hope that makes sense. Hope did anyone have any questions on anything that we went over tonight? Drop in the chat if you do. Okay. Last thing, cause I know we've been on here. I just ex like to explain things in detail cause I know I'm very detailed, like I like details. So um, just tell me, I'm like, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Like, I want you to tell me exactly how to do it. So that's why I'm very big on explaining things. Okay, so last task. What I want you guys to do right now is I want you to write down the checklist that we just did. So you can do it tomorrow. You can do it the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. You get it? We do it every day. We do it on Saturdays and Sundays too, okay? If you don't message, if you don't post, if you don't add to your network, your business is closed. Posting is our open sign to our business. Messaging, so I look at it as like this. Posting is this, the water and messaging is the seed. And when I message people, that's planting a seed. And my post is what waters the seed. And that's what makes my business bloom. Okay, because not everyone sees your posts, so you definitely want a message, okay? And you definitely want to post because people want to know that you're serious about your business and they're gonna to want to be a part of it if you are serious in, in, in it. So how are you gonna find posts? So I will write the checklist out. You know what? What I'm gonna do for you is I'm actually going to make a checklist for you in a very pretty, picture form so that you can save it to your camera roll and if you want to even save it as your background to remind you every single day to do your checklist guess what you have the reminder right here on your phone I'm like oh crap i need to send some messages before the day is over with okay so where i'm going to put this after i make it is i'm going to put it in the i'm going to share it with some of my like friends that are on here like brianne and jessica so that if you enroll if they enrolled you, you they can share it with you and i'm also going to put it in the comments section of the post that i made in mountain movers of the zoom that was happening um so i'm gonna upload upload this recording on youtube for some reason my when i do this it takes forever for my videos to upload it's like hours so i'm gonna try to get this as soon as possible for you guys i'm gonna stop the recording here but i'm going to send um i'm gonna put all all the things that we went over today in the comment section of that post or of the post that i made and just to let you know real fast i did this just a second ago so i'm gonna show you real quick if you go back to mountain movers this is our team page. If you're not a part of it, tell your person, they'll add you, okay? So you see this post that I made explaining like, hey, we're having a call. You can actually save this as a collection too. Save post. Type in, title it, new distributor power hour, or however you wanna title it. Cause guess what? If you're like, dang it, where was that message that she put in the chat on that Zoom? I wasn't a part of the Zoom or whatever. Guess what? You can go to your saved. Whoops. Hey, Tabitha. I don't know how she got there. Um, you can go back to your saved and then you'll have your newbie. You'll have the post. The post will be saved on here. So then you just click on it and you can go to the comment section and look up all the things that I'm going to be putting in there. Obviously, if they're not there yet, but I'm going to put the messages that we use tonight. I'm going to put the recording of the Zoom on there. Um, so if you ever wanted to go back and do your own power hour with using this, um, 
you can find it very easily for you. And I'm going to put, I'm going to make the newbie checklist on Word, like it's called Word Swag. I'm going to make that for you guys and put it in the comment section as well. So then you can find it easily. Okay. So 